Vlogmas day 23. Nothing much happening today. Um, I'm just starting to pack all my stuff. The What used to be the office that I worked in is now going to be done with wood and floor. So I had to get all the stuff out and move it into the room temporarily just so I could start packing what's next to come. <laughs> see all the stuff from the rock room or what once was the room of creativity is now into the hat room saying goodbye to our old workplace <laughs> me and Gino's old workplace here work from home bye bye this wood came from the next door neighbor gave it to us for free because they didn't use it it'll look nice That'd be funny nice. to compare that video with our work from home video. Yeah. That uh, we did like the first day, remember that? Yeah, for sure. A cool little transformation. Wanna help me clean? GG. Help me organize. This is all my years of collecting GoPro stuff. Gotta get this little... So much stuff accumulated over the years. Since like 2014-ish. When the action cam thing. This is before uh, stabilization in the GoPros. You can see like the, it's pretty crazy how far GoPros come. Just doing a little cleanup, trying to get everything organized. So when the move happens, we're not losing things, but just a bunch of stuff. Let's get organized. Picked up some Chinese food. Gonna door dash something but didn't want to pay those extra fees room's coming along looking good cleaned it up a little bit still kind of like messy cluttered but we're gonna be moving anyway so it's gonna be a day at home the weather's looking ugly outside before we get things going boring day at home but productive is that even though trump himself was not a part of these negotiations he was represented by his own treasury secretary steve mnuchin who was part of this process from the beginning and suddenly out of left field seemingly trump threatening not to sign this bill even though he had signaled all along throughout this whole process going back to the summer that he would sign whatever covid 19 relief bill came across his desk so long as democrats and republicans agree on it <laughs> Coming along. Looks good. The room now, the room is exactly kind of just to where it was its original state. Here it is, everyone. Okay, time for a nerd out moment. Just finished The Mandalorian season two, the season finale. All I gotta say is crazy. I don't normally geek out or nerd out on some of the things that I'm into, but I just had to go with what I saw because I discussed it with my friend Danny. She was over a couple days ago playing a board game and she told me I had to go see the last season finale. Spoilers ahead. I can't even believe what I saw. It reminded me, it had some nostalgia, it reminded me of a pure Rogue One Darth Vader moment. And even if you put the clips side by side, it just felt like that. I felt that same way when I saw Darth Vader board the rebel ship and then he just was like using his lightsaber and just like sabering through all of them. And same thing, it was like when I saw Luke in The Mandalorian, I was just like, <laughs> so much overwhelming feelings about seeing you know the cgi younger version of luke we got a gist of like that with leia darth vader seeing luke and r2d2 made an appearance <laughs> dude all i gotta say was amazing amazing i can't get over it as soon as i saw that green lightsaber it just made sense since it's you know it's set in that time frame i i called it it was like x-wing fighter 
green lightsaber and then when he did the force crush with his freaking his black glove anyways that's gonna do it for day 23 may the force be with y'all howdy is it rolling <laughs> yeah well i'm tired my first 12 hour shift with all covid patients do it all over again tomorrow good night <laughs> good night